today uh, just for the heck of it. It's right now it's about 92 degrees. It's too hot. It's in the middle of the day to do my QRP or QRO, whatever it is I'm doing. It's too hot to do radio. So I'm going to jump out and see how far I can shoot this slingshot just to wait. I know a perfect place where I can shoot it as long as I don't attract any police attention or anything like that. I know the perfect place where I can shoot it and I'm guessing I can get it past 100 yards. Um, I'm not doing a, a vertical test, which I really even wouldn't know how to do. I wouldn't know how to do a vertical test, but I am doing a distance test, kind of like a cannonball. So let's see what happens. at this wide open field and a beautiful day. Um, by the way, do you know what premium parking is in Oklahoma? Shade. <laughs> Alright, we are going to shoot from here and I'm just going to pace it off. I know this isn't scientific, this isn't even close, but I'm just going to be shooting the bag, a nine ounce bag, and I'll shoot it, lay the stick down so I don't attract any attention, doesn't look weird, and then I'm going to pace it off and I, I can walk about one yard per pace. Now I actually, I actually shot that like I was shooting it into a tree so I shot it way too high. One, two, three. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. I shot at 79 paces times about three feet. 240 feet, roughly. Roughly speaking. All right, let's try that one more time. Let's see if I can do better. But when you're holding the camera, you attract attention. You hold a, a camera and you you have a pole, that slingshot, you attract a lot of attention. You hold a camera and you have a ham radio or antenna or you're messing around the trees. Boy, look out. You are going to be asked a question. Alright, 80 paces. I think I can beat that. In here like that. Put it in there a lot nicer than that. I'm trying to hold the stick at the same time. But... That was a good one. So I was a couple steps ahead. I'm going to start right here. And 80, 81, 82, 83. 84, 85, 86, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. So back there is where I shot it, kind of in between the van. 95 paces, what's that? That's about times three feet, subtract 10%. 95 times three, that's 300, that's 285, about 10% because I overstep a little bit. So 285 minus 20, 265 feet is about how far I threw it. Roughly 265 feet is how far I can, how far out I can shoot eight ounces. I could probably do a little bit better about a third time, but I feel pretty good. So if I can shoot it 265 feet, I mean, well, why don't I shoot it up? The problem is it's hard to capture that on camera. Let's see what kind of hang time we get if I shoot it straight up. 
Let's try that. What a great place to practice shooting, huh? You see that tree over there? That tree is a hell of a long way away. See that giant tree? I wonder if I can shoot it over that damn thing. I bet I can. I'm gonna try to shoot it over that big ass tree right there and hope the hell it doesn't get caught. I'm gonna get fairly close to it. I'm sweating like pig. Do pigs sweat? All right, let's shoot it over this sucker. That tree's at least 90 feet tall, if not 100. Dude, I sailed it over. Just hit. Sailed it over that tree. Wasn't even close. I sailed it over. This gigantic tree. Uh, it's hard to put things in perspective, but I was a good 15, 20 feet above it. So you can see how high you can get with this thing. Here's some perspective. Here's some perspective of how big this tree is. Beautiful freaking tree. So my beanbag cleared it. I saw it land. Glad it's orange. I can't find it. Where the hell is it? If it cleared that tree, it could be way out here. Holy cow. It is way out here. Dude. You see how far that thing can shoot? This is the other side of the tree. You know, and I, I didn't even pull it down all the way. My hands are so uncomfortable. I just let it rip. Anyway, guys, uh, that was a fun video. Oh, not a whole lot of scientific merit other than, holy crap, that thing can shoot. There's your science. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Man, what a beautiful day. If it was just 10 degrees cooler and I had my radio stuff, I could operate right here. Right here, man. Just lay a blanket down. I want to start doing that. I want to start laying blankets down instead of dealing with tables and chairs. Just as I finished up out there, these guys in golf carts came out to see what I was doing. Uh, I'm finding more and more I'm being <coughs> uh, watched or People will come out and check out what I'm doing. I, last time I was in Dayton, I haven't made the video yet, but the police came out and asked me what I was doing. What's all this stuff? I'm finding that you're going to have to be, when you do what I do, you're going to have to be more and more stealthy. Um, you're going to have to go to the right places. You're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to know, is there people there? Are there police there? Are there groundskeepers there? And if so, it's it would be easier to just walk and kind of hide somewhere. Like when I did the Lake of the Ozarks thing, I took all my gear and I climbed this hill. In that case, you're, no one's going to bother you because no one's going to go up there on that hill and follow you. But when you're in a park slash college, by the way, I grew up in this town and I've been in that park. I've gone running there a billion times. Uh, we had school activities there. We walked across there. We've done all, we've messed around there tons of times when I was growing up. So that's, that's just an open field, right? But nowadays, when you do anything, like you have this a slingshot or you have a radio or anything suspicious, you're a character, you're, you're a terrorist or something. So, all right, so I'm, what I'm saying is you're going to have to be more stealthy. You're going to have to get in and get out. I was able to get three good shots off and, and get the whole video done and then get out of there just as they were pulling up to check out what I was doing. I'm sure that's what they were doing because I've never seen, I've never once seen people out there that had, they had the logo from the school and stuff on there. So I, I think, and they came out and they were going back, so I definitely think they were worried about me. You know, I might hurt the grass or something. <laughs> so anyway, you got to get in and you got to get out. You got to know who might approach you. You got to have something ready to say. You have to have a, you know, I'm with, I do ham radio, I have FCC license. You have to have something. You can't just, 
expect no one to mess with you because they will nowadays.